Yeah, that that is definitely faster than it used to be. Man, I gotta say, this is nice. I uh, I didn't realize how much I missed these cryopods. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascended. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to do stuff. Uh, we're going to just kind of do a bunch of different things. Uh, but first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with cryopods. So they have now added cryopods uh, to the game. Um, they had actually added them uh, in yesterday's episode, but I was focused on that uh, in that episode on, on building uh, out at the sea base, so I didn't do anything with them. Uh, so here's a, I've I've done some thinking about the crowd pods, and uh, here's here's what we're gonna go with. Um, I'm going to use them for storage. Uh, so if we have dinos like, for example, that purple giga down there, well, actually all three of those gigas that are absolutely doing nothing but sitting in the yard, taking up CPU cycles, eating food, etc. But that I want to hang on to for one reason or another, those three in particular for potential future breeding. Um, we're going to store, we're going to use the crowd, spot, uh, crowd pods to store uh, dinos like that. The second thing that I'm going to use the cryopods to do is I'm going to use them to fix bugs and glitches that happen in this game. So, for example, if a dino meshes, um, I'm going to use a cryopod to pull it out of the mesh and relaunch it. In order for that to work, I had to completely disable all of the new restrictions um, that Wildcard put on the crowd pods. Now, I don't disagree with those restrictions. Uh, I get them, and I understand you know the purpose of them. But my purpose for using crowd pods for that reason is to fix the their game's bugs, and so I don't want to add those extra restrictions on top of. Um, you know, just trying to to rescue my dino. Okay, so so I've turned I've disabled all that, which basically means I can use crowd pods exactly like they used to be used. You can you can launch the dino anywhere. There's no cryo sickness. I don't have to have a um, a cryo fridge, you know, nearby or anything like that. But on the other side of that coin, I will not be using the cryo pods to transport dinos. I will not be using the cryo pods to quickly launch a dino um, in a dangerous situation to help bail me out. I'm only going to use them to fix glitches and bugs with the game and to store dinos, okay? Uh, and the reason for that is because, you, in, in case you haven't been watching the series all along, you know, my whole intention when I started uh, this series on Ascended was to was to try and get back to the original feel of Ark, and at that point in time, none of us knew we were going to have crowd pods, anyways. Um, so I want to, I want to still kind of stick to that feel uh, or that um, feel as much as possible, but at the same time, be practical about things too. I mean, if we have the crowd pods now, they're just the absolute best way to store unused dinos because of the reasons I just stated. It's it's easier on the computer, on the server, and it doesn't, you know, they don't eat up all your food. Um, okay, so. That being said, let's go ahead and go on into here. You have to be level 50 uh, to learn these things. Uh, so, you know, keep that in mind, of course. And then, yeah, um, it looks like the requirements for these are more or less the same as they used to be. I don't remember exactly what they were, but they don't look significantly different, if different at all. And then also, I guess the other thing is... I still think we have to go to the obelisk, though, uh, or maybe maybe a loot drop to craft them. Um, let's see here. No, I guess we have to go back into here. Cryopod. Can be crafted at a tech replicator, a supply crate, or a tribute terminal. Okay, yeah. All right, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to gather up um, a bunch of resources, go up and craft, you know, a, a mess of these. I guess I, I heard, too, that you can craft, you, you can queue up a bunch now, too. You don't have to craft them one at a time like it used to be. Uh, so I'm going to get all that stuff done, and then we'll figure out where we're going to put the cryo fridge. I'll probably put it in here. Um, I don't really want to put it by the map. We could probably put it right here, actually. Yeah, we got a spot right there for it. And does it... Um, 
I think it just takes normal power, right? Pretty sure that it does. Yeah, so that should still be in range of our generator. Um, yeah, and then after that's done, um, we'll probably do a quick swamp cave run. I got my breeding started, so I might show you some of that th uh, throughout this episode. And uh, just kind of do various different things. All right, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, I haven't uh, had a chance yet to go out and do the cryopods, but we have a, a few hatchlings here. And uh, one of them, is, at least one of them, is 245, possibly more. And um, unfortunately, well, yeah, see, this one has a health mutation. But the problem is... We don't really want to use it for our melee line because it just adds extra. We want a pure, uh, I'm sorry, um, health line. Uh, we want a pure melee line. But you know what I might do? I'm starting to get anxious. Well, not anxious. That's not the right word. I, I'm starting to want to um, attempt the gamma bosses fairly soon so we can start getting into some tech stuff. So I might raise like a preliminary army for gamma bosses and just see how they do um and so this would be a good dino for that we're gonna have to imprint it so why don't we let's see turn that down to two turn that off okay come over here little feller so that yeah this this isn't a bad dino to actually use it's got two melee mutations and a health mutation um, if I can just get it out of the cluster there. Okay, good. So let's take that, take it over, uh, over here for now. And I'll probably actually imprint this. And it'll be the first of our, what we'll call our army version one, our version one army. Uh, this is a male too. Okay. Um, so let's get some, I told you to, yeah, let's get some berries for that little feller. Um, and I got a few more eggs here too that we'll uh, we'll throw down. Uh, let's check these other ones too. I might have seen another 245 in there, but I'm not sure. But yeah, the reason if, if you're not familiar with how the braiding works, the reason we don't want to keep this in the line is because of the fact that right now we're we're stacking melee mutations. And because it's got the health mutation, it just continues to add, you know, you can only do 20 of these on both sides. Uh, and, and that's not entirely true. You can get a, get around that. But the point being is you want to re minimize the number of mutations that a dino has overall. I don't know if that made sense, but that's the reason why we don't want to keep that in our melee line. Plus, it didn't get... A third melee mutation anyways which is really what we're looking for right now okay so let's um let's get into here and grab a wall okay so how, how soon are the berries we got about four minutes and about three minutes on those okay so I'm just it, when they're really clustered up like this, it can be hard to tell, but I'm going to just kind of sweep across and see if a, a 245 pops up. The other thing we can do is, and you're, what are you? Yours is 239, okay. Um, so let's just give them a love tap to see if we can break them up a little bit. Uh, I wonder if, um, I wonder if I could paint these walls white so it would be easier to see the red text on the background. Or maybe change them to metal. Might be easier to see them against metal. I don't think any of the rest of those are 245s. I think they're all 243s. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're all 243s. Okay, so let's... um. Let's go ahead and have you dispatch the rest of these. Don't look, everybody. This is absolutely a horrible thing. 
To make matters worse, the Uteranus uh, makes them all afraid first before he even kills them. Terrible. Uh, but this is going to be our boss, Yudi, so I'm trying to get as many levels on Big Bird as we can. All right, you know what? I'm going to pick these guys up just in case he's not completely done munching before they hatch. Okay, quit scaring him and just eat him. Be a little bit humane about this, if that's even possible for a Uteranus. I haven't put any points at all into melee damage on Big Bird. It's all been stamina, pretty much. Are you done? Okay. Uh, and he's got 20,000 health, which which is probably what we'll stay with. I actually, you know what, though? If, if we have trouble keeping this alive, the next one we do, we'll probably put a little more health into. Okay, so I'll put you on passive. Now, let's go ahead and drop the rest of the fairy eggs. We'll worry about the other ones later. Um, I'm going to actually put uh, those back because they're making me super heavy here. Maybe we'll luck out and get another 245. So, yeah, any 245s that we get, as long as it has a health or melee mutation. Uh, even if it, we can't use it for the stack, I'm going to pull it aside and start um, Im imprinting on it to make our our first version army. Which, keep in mind that, you know, it's that's not going to be our final army. Uh, but it'll be a good test to see how well we can do against the Gamma bosses with an army that's not really fully ready to go uh, based upon what my intentions are anyways okay what are you you are 243 okay so uh actually do you have oh shit didn't mean to do that okay hold on put these back down again it's a bit more of a pain in the butt to sort them out but it makes it less of a pain in the butt after to figure them out so we could we could keep this one because it does have the four melee stacks it'll just have a little less health let's mm, i don't know we'll we'll wait and see what else we get here okay so we got a couple more 243s um so that one has melee also <coughs> yeah, you know what? I think I think I'll pull the 243s with the melee out too. And I'm going to try something else as well. Let me get these guys pulled out first and then I'm going to go grab some um metal walls and put them up there and see if the red text shows up a little bit better on metal as opposed to stone. All right, we had another 243. It was you, I think, yeah. And you do have four melees, yes. Um, What happened to the other theory I pulled out here? Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Maybe I didn't have you on. No, I, I didn't put him on passive. Okay, that's my bad. You know what? I had a cryopod. That would fix this situation. I'm going to add... I'm going to add one more... Uh, allowance to cryopods and that is just to manage babies when breeding gonna do it just gonna fucking do it 
because I've wasted five minutes trying to get this thing unstuck. Now, granted, it's my fault it got stuck in the first place, but it shouldn't be this hard. So, yeah, we'll use cryopods to manage babies, too. Okay, so um, I think that's it for 243s. Let's uh, double check one last time. You're, yeah, you're a 243, but. Oh, you are a 243 with melee. How did I miss that? Okay. Uh, make sure you're new, a passive. Make sure you're on number two follow. Take some berries. All right, here, you just sit there for a second. You're a 239. 239. Okay, there's two 243s there. Jesus, I, I've got a lot of 243s here. <laughs> um, damn it, that's going to be such a pain in the ass trying to imprint all of them at the same time, though. But it'll get us get us our army sooner. Okay, well, let's do it. See, so situation right here. He's stuck. I could just cryopod him and then move him over to where I need him to go. Um, okay, now he decided to turn around. So, yeah, we got, um, we got a few 243s out of that. Now, before we do anything else, let's grab, let's see if I have any metal walls in here. I don't. All right, let's make, well, I wonder if glass would show the red. Mm, probably not. We need something that's really light colored. And, you know, there's always the option of painting too, I suppose, or using dyes. Okay, so let's make um, a couple of these. Oh, his tail's on the way. Uh, I, I think it's a little easier to see, but not like massively easier. But like I said, we could, we could make some white paint and paint the walls too. Um, the other thing too is I think we, if we turned those around. There, you know, there's they're flat on the other side they don't have all the texture okay well i'll worry about that later um okay i think we're done with this batch so let's get the dastardly deed done here obviously he won't harm the ones that we've claimed come on big bird quit showing off and just kill him Okay, he's done doing his thing. Put you back on passive. And yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing every day for the last 100,000 days. Not 100,000 days. Uh, you know, with the breeding, so. Thought I'd uh, bring you guys in on that a little bit more than I have, just in case you were curious. And well, I won't always show that on camera, of course, because it's pretty much the same thing over and over. Um, what I do want to do, though, is I want to take our... Six Therizino babies. Um, actually, yeah, I guess we can leave them in here. I'm just, I'm just gonna pick up all these walls though, so you know, if any of them want walks, which they probably will, uh, I want to have plenty of room to walk them around the barn. So yeah, I'll get that taken care of, and then I'm going to. Uh, well, I guess hold on, we gotta hatch the. We have an Anki and a couple of berries. Let's hatch those really quick before I cut the camera here. And we'll see what, you know, what we get out of there. I have considered the possibility of trying a berry army uh, for the Gamma Bosses too. 
I think they'd probably do okay. Uh, I'm not, maybe not on the dragon boss, but they could probably do okay with Brood and Mega on Gamma. Um, so you know, we might try that at some point. I'm, you know, we're we're technically done with needing to do the ice cave, which was really kind of the main, uh, you know, the ultimate goal, I should say, for my berry army, anyways. And that's not to say we won't do the ice cave anymore, but we don't need to do the ice cave anymore. I think I have like four artifacts of the strongs. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. But but that's a possibility that we could actually maybe run the berry army um, on, on some of the gamma bosses too. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, I'm going to go see how much time we have. we got two minutes on you. 48 seconds on you. Yeah, let's go make another two two more metal walls and see if we can flip them the other way around and also see if we can make some white dye. I haven't even messed with the dyes in Arc Ascended. Not even a single time. What do we need to make a white dye? Dyes. Uh, do, 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 do. Fuchsia green, gray. Magenta, orange, red, spring, spring. Hmm. What does yellow or red contrast with really good? It, I think yellow, it does yellow. Uh, grayscale. White coloring. I think white's probably just going to be as good as anything. So we need narco berries and stem berries. Oh, wait, I don't have either one of those things in there. Uh, I guess I pulled everything out of there, too. Here we go. Ah, oh, shit, I don't have... I, I've used all of my narco berries to make narcotic. Okay, I'll have to mess with that later, then. I went out and got a... Uh, huge load of narco berries yesterday on the Bronto and uh, made more narcotic just for the hell of it and I've got uh, how much narcotic do I have I've got 34,560 narcotic um, and then some you know at the sea bases and some on the birds and that sort of thing too um okay so we can't do the die yet let's at least make it two more metal walls And these I'll try and flip around the other way. Um, in fact, I know this is a little bit of a waste of materials, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pop them in where the other ones are too, so I don't have to take all that stuff down and rebuild it. Okay, we got our Anki and our berries. So you're both two seventeens, but you need to be females. You're a male, and you're a male. Yeah, we don't need more Baryonyx males. Um, so, unfortunately, you guys have to die. You are a male Anki with 33 melee. That's that's better. That's an improvement. Okay, so we're going to keep you for sure. Do I have any more berries on me? Uh-uh. Okay, here. That is an improvement. Okay, let's grab some berries for this little feller. Okay. So, he'll replace this father here. Wait. Yeah. Make sure you are disabled. Uh, Mating's disabled. I'll, I'll remove him later. So, that's a step in the right direction. It's just taken me such a long time to get melee going on my Ankies. And it matters, you know, when you start having to make the the Ascendant saddles and you need like 80,000 metal, it makes a difference when you have an Anki that can farm fast, you know. Uh, okay, so we don't need these berries here. 
Sorry, little fellers. Tail whiplash there. Uh, okay, so let's take these and we want to flip them that way. Are you. What just happened? It let me place it, but I don't know where it placed. Okay, I guess that's not going to work. So we're going to have to. can't tell which direction it's facing. Okay, I think... Yeah, we want that, and then... No! God damn it! Ugh. It flipped back around. <laughs> okay, well, I might end up just having to take that ship out. Oh, you know what I could do, actually? Here, let's, um... Let's just put wood walls up there. waste all our materials, but it's still better than having to tear all that shit down. These are jammed full of eggs. Uh, well, not that one. But these are. I do not... And, and those suckers are heavy, too. I don't want to have to redo that stuff. And those are all jammed full of eggs. Okay, well, I think this is a good spot to cut the camera. Um, so I'm going to... Did I, I forgot to turn breeding off on you. You guys are going at it again? Jesus. Okay. Guy can't get enough. Um, anyway, um, yeah. I'm going to cut the camera here. Get everything done I need to do and go get the cryopods made. And then uh, I'll bring you guys back uh, once, once we're ready to proceed from there. Hey, look at this. We got a mutation on one of our UDs here. Um, and it is in health, which is good. Very good. So, uh, unfortunately, though, it's a female. So we'll have to, what we'll have to do is breed her with the base father to get, um, a male. And then we can, then we can start a health, uh, mutation line. So th that's really good. That's the first mutation I've gotten on the UD so far, but I only have... Yeah, the rest of those are dying off because I forgot to feed them. I barely caught that one in time. Um, but I only have eight uh, Uteranus mothers and not 24 fairy, you know, like fairy mothers. And uh, mostly for space and because, you know, getting mutations on these guys isn't anywhere near as critical as it is on the fairies. Uh, but that's cool. Okay, so yeah, this one should be fine because I, I threw some meat in its inventory and... Uh, very cool. Uh, we're going to name you Mother H1. Cool. All right. And then let's also yeah, take that off. And, man, I'm glad I caught this, man. I would have been kicking myself if I would have let it die, uh, considering it's our first UD mutation in a while, if ever. Uh, let's make sure we have you turn off for now. And um, we'll have to pull him away from the normal base mothers, and maybe maybe put them both over here when the time comes. Okay, let's clean up the mess here. Uh, while I've got the camera rolling, um, I went out and got some berries. So let's get that. Let's make a little bit of white dye and put it on those walls, and then then we got to go make the crowd pods. I still haven't gotten around to that. I've just been doing a bunch of other stuff. Million things to do, man. It's all fun though. Okay, so I think we found that in grayscale, right? Yeah, white coloring. I don't think I want to make sixty-one of those. I'm not sure how many we'll need. Um, let's make twenty. Oh, yeah, they make five at a time anyways. We'll stop at 50. And then that actually goes into the cosmetics menu, which I haven't even, like I said, I haven't even messed with this stuff yet. 
That's kind of cool. So it puts everything in here that you can color. Huh. We might mess with that a little bit later on just for the fun, of, you know, for the fun of it. We'll see. All right, now if we How do we color the wall? Oh, do we have to have we have to have a, the paintbrush or the that's right. We have to have either a paintbrush or a paint sprayer, which I might actually have. I may may have pulled something like that out of a drop at one point. Let's take a look. If, if I have it, it's going to be probably in tools. Look at that. Paint sprayer. Nice. So, okay, let's grab this. Apply coloring, then alt, fire, and hotkey to set regions. Tap in to switch to soap. Okay. So to apply coloring, do I hold down R or E or F? Or do I just do this? Ah, okay. Gotcha. Okay, that it brings it up a little bit, but not a ton. It's probably as good as it's gonna get. What the hell was that? Oh, did you have more babies already? Let's turn you off for now. Um, all right, yeah. So it looks like this is about as good as it's gonna get. I can't make it even more white. Um, and that should help a little bit. If nothing else, it removes all of the texture of the stone wall. So that in and of itself will help me to see the, you know, the text a little bit better. But plus it is a little bit brighter. So, okay, cool. Um, let's, let's give ourselves a white generator. <laughs> it doesn't really, doesn't really make much difference though, does it? Uh, all right, so cryopods. We need to gather up a crap ton of material for cryopods. So what do we need? <laughs> I'm going to actually have to crunch some numbers here because I, I want to make a lot of these. Um, I'm thinking maybe 30 to start with because I have quite a few dinos that we, could, that we can store that just don't need to be out right now. Um, so let me figure that out, and I'll, and I'll bring you guys back in a bit. All right, guys, we are here at Green Obby. It's the, the closest one to the base. And uh, I, have a, I have a question for you guys. Um, I apparently have some setting enabled that allows me to access any of the bosses from any of the obelisks. And I don't know what that setting is, uh, but when I've normally you're only supposed to be able to do brood mother from here but it gives me all the options so if you guys know what that setting is let me know just if for no other reason so i know what it is i don't have that uh, i don't remember intentionally turning that on or enabling that um but i just like to know okay so anyway um let's go ahead and put all of the stuff in here i'm gonna actually make 50 of these because they're just they're not that expensive they should be way more expensive i think than they are but whatever okay so let's um make the cryo fridge first okay and then uh, we should be able to make 50 of these it's so nice that we can queue those queue them up too you know and not have to uh manually hit the button 50 times like you used to have to do okay so um i'm gonna get these made and then we'll go back to the base and then we'll we'll try them out. We picked up a friend. This is a female level 20. Yeah. Uh, I am planning on going after one of these. Um, fairly soon, probably. Uh, I did hear, though, that they nerfed them. With their... They're a lot slower now when they're carrying stuff, so... 
not too crazy about that, but whatever. I think the females give us the pheromone too, don't they? Let's find out. Oh, we still have the uh, the one that we got way a long time ago in the fridge. It's got over half of its life still. Um, do we? Oh, do we have to just harvest it? Okay. I thought uh, we looted it. Oh, maybe you can't get those off the female. Uh, there isn't a loot bag that it dropped, is there? Oh, that I'm seeing. Okay. Yeah, um... I'm, I'm going to tame one just, just because I've never had one before. And they are very fast if you just fly in the, you know, the creature itself to get around the map. But um, from what I understand, even if you pick up a light creature, like a small creature, it still, like, slows them way down. Which sucks because it would have been nice to, you know, have had one and been able to fly stuff around quickly before the nerf. But... I just, I'm, I guess I'm a day late and a dollar short. <laughs> um, the other creature that I'm, that it is in my plans to tame before this series is over is a, a car car, 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 char, car, 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 Rodontus. I have such a hard time pronouncing that damn name. Um, but, um, and, and you can't, unless by the time I'm ready to do the tech cave wild card nerf set or whatever. Um, you can actually take those into the tech cave too. So, um, yeah, but whether we end up being able to take it into the tech cave or not, I still want to tame one just because I never have. So that is on the to-do list. Okay. We are back. So we're going to put the cryo fridge right here. Um, yeah, that should work. Let's unsnap it. And is it powered? It is. Okay, cool. What's that say? Cryopod deployment prevented for... Oh, I thought I turned all that shit off. Okay, well, maybe it still matters for the very first time you place it. Those don't look different, do they? I don't think so. Uh, okay, so... We'll stick all of those in there to keep them charged. Let's just grab a few. And I'm going to put this extra poly back in there. I always bring a little extra of that because it spoils so quickly. I guess I add a little extra fiber too. Uh, put this stuff in building. I got that out of a drop. This, uh, what is this? Don't care. And that we can grind up for the hide. Okay, so let's go into the barn first. And we're going to... The first dino we're going to put away is this theory that I kept because I really like the red color. We might breed the color some at some point onto our our main army before we well when we start to breed the main army I might try and breed those colors onto the to the parents first. Okay, cool. So that gets rid of that one. And let's see, we want to keep all of these dinos out. You, uh, we can, we can, uh, get your tail out of my face. We can definitely put you away for now. I'm saving you for later. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to level you either. Whoops. Oh, well, I guess we don't have to wait for, for the deployment. I see that that bug is still there. You have to actually switch away from it, even though... So if I put this in my inventory and put another one down here, the game still has this one selected. So you have to select the new one first. 
which is really weird. I think they would have fixed that. No, guess not. Okay, yeah, so we'll put this guy away. Um, we could, I mean, just about every dino on the second floor we could, we could put away. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to go that crazy with it, but yeah, we'll see. Um, okay, so I think that's all we were going to put away here. I don't use Ben very often, but let's leave him out because we do, you know, we still, I'd still like to get a few more honeycombs before it's all said and done. So we'll leave him out. Um, I don't even know if there's any point in going up to the second floor because again, every dino up there, we could potentially cryo. We just don't, because we don't use them at this point. Um, got quite a few datons up there, but I kind of stopped breeding them because I don't think we need to. Okay, well, let's um, let's put some of these gigas away. We don't need any of these gigas out at all. <coughs> that seems to be a little faster, which is nice. Yeah, that, that is definitely faster than it used to be. So there's a nice improvement. I'd say it's almost twice as fast. It does have a little cryo, I guess, cryo sickness indicator, or maybe that's the timer for the deployment thing that doesn't matter to us. In fact, here, let's just test that. We just put this one away. Okay, I did not enable cryo sickness, so I don't know why I have it. Hmm. Well, okay, I have to check that. Okay, well, that's interesting. I'll have to wait for him to wake back up. Uh, let's see. We use the Bronto for berries. Chomp is on patrol duty. The raptors are on patrol duty. We could put Mrs. Egg 2 away for now. Don't really use her. And we could put the Allos away as well. Man, I gotta say, this is nice. I, uh, I didn't realize how much I missed these cryopods. They are super handy. I don't even know why I have these owls at all. I have absolutely no plan to use them for anything, but we have them, so. All right. You don't even, I guess we don't even need you in here. There's nothing for you to guard. Do you have, oh, I'm just really heavy. Follow me. Okay, let's see. Uh, I don't think I want to cryo the quets. We could cry, cryo the mammoth. I, I just don't use it. The beaver is so much better, in my opinion, than the mammoth. I mean, the mammoth's not bad. I'm not saying it sucks. It's just that beaver's better. So let's put mammoth away. Okay. Um, horny I still actually use right now for... Uh, getting metal until we can get something better. We need to send uh, that Anki to Anki Heaven. Uh, but I don't want to, obviously, we don't want to cry with him if that's what we're going to do. There's a couple dinos in the other barn we could, we can also cryo up. Get a drink of water. Um,. Not really doing anything with these two. Uh, if I if I end up needing to run the lava cave again, I'll use them for that. But yeah, let's. Oh shit! Did it again. Now he's now he's sick. Yeah, I. Ugh. I turned that shit off, man. I don't know why it's active. 
Hey, get out of here. Okay, well, we'll have to come back to the mammoth then. Uh, we don't need... Yeah, we don't need you. I mean, we need you, but we don't need you out. I, I might continue breeding the Dadons. I don't know. We'll see. Probably not, though. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we want to keep... We want Pretty much almost all of these theories here we can put in storage. And this melee father. So, yeah, let's do it. And I'll make folders in the cryo fridge to help, you know, kind of organize all of these guys. Guys and gals. Yeah, I really like, though, that that's a lot faster than it used to be. Oh, look at you eating birds. Hmm. I didn't think an otter would do that. I thought they only liked fish. Is that Giga still sick? Okay, it's back up again. All right, so let's do this. Let's go here. And we're going to make folders. So this will be our uh, Therry folder. Therizinos. Okay. Um, we've got uh, Aloe folder. And let's see what else we got. Giga folder. Ga Gaga? No, not Lady Gaga. Okay. Got... We have a Megalania folder. A Rex folder. Drag that directly in there. What is this? Uh, data on folder. Berry folder and UD folder. Okay, good. That mammoth still sick? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, next time I restart my server, I'll, I'll check that setting again. But it was a setting that you enabled, and I never enabled it. So I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that. Okay. Well, that certainly cleans things up quite a bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is off camera, I'll go, I'll go through my second floor barn and puts at least put some of those critters away. Um, I already went through not too long ago and culled a bunch of them. Oh, by the way, uh, one of you guys did tell me in the comments what the setting was to adjust a tribe's max limit and it's the it's the max personal dinos setting which is in the game any file so i appreciate that uh kudos to the person i remember i'm sorry off the top of my head who it was but you know who you are and i appreciate you uh, letting me know that so uh all right i think what we're gonna do guys for to finish off this episode what um Mm, you're going to need an imprint in about 27 minutes. Yeah, okay. I don't want to miss the imprints on these guys because um, they're going to—they're the start of our version 1 army. So I was going to... Yeah, you know what? Maybe we, we can do that. I've got a little bit of buffer time if I'm not back immediately. Uh, we're going to run... We're going to do a quick swamp cave run because why the hell not, right? Let's see if we can... Get some 
fat loot. So that place has the best loot out of every cave in this freaking game. Uh, it seems seems to, anyways. So, and, and you know, we're also using it, of course, to continue to level our berries that are out there. So, I think I have everything I need out there, so we should be able to just fast travel. I'm going to put all my stuff away in here. Dude, you're a loud snorer. You need like a CPAP machine. All right, let's just grab all of this stuff here. And you're the next in line. Yeah, we need to get your melee up to 800. So let's do this. From the moment of my open eye, been looking for a guided light to lead me on my way. Yeah, lost, struggling to make the top. A slipping grip can hold me up. It's the game of life we play. play, play. When everything comes crashing. Of that thing is, but what a nice piece of armor. Okay, so uh, the prize that we pulled out of there <coughs> was this guy here. That's an amazing piece of armor, but oh my goodness, it's going to be expensive to make and expensive to repair. But something we might wear into the, like a dragon fight, you know. Uh, well, any boss fight, really. Uh, I've got a, uh, I got a blueprint for riot leggings that's over a thousand too, and I think I have one for feet that's like an eight or nine hundred. So, yeah, uh, very nice, very nice item, though, for sure. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here, and um, I'm just going to keep working away on stuff and 
the plan, you know, the next big plan, of course, is for us to run the sea cave. So I'm going to keep working on getting the basilosaurus ready to go. We might, uh, we might actually do that in the next episode, just depending upon how things go. Uh, also, we got this guy up to 777. Um, so one more run in there, and then he'll be fully leveled and ready to add to the berry army. Um, I might do one more ice cave run on camera with you guys just to show you the new and improved way that I've been doing it and possibly, you know, to find a, maybe a little bit better, uh, Therizino blueprint, uh, in the process. So yeah, we, that we'll probably do that one more time too, just, just for the hell of it. So with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And if I don't see you before then... Today is December the 23rd. I want to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.